Well, first of all, congratulations to Tennessee. Um, they, they did what they needed to do to win the game, earned it. Um, you know, two teams had really good years. Earned, both teams earned their way here tonight, and they earned the win on the field tonight. Uh, we did not. Um, incredibly disappointing. Um, you know, uh, just just name of the game, a lot of missed opportunities. Simple as that. Uh, first half, I think we had six scoring opportunities out of seven drives, and we got one field goal out of it. So, um, against the number one scoring offense in the country that you know at some point is going to hit an explosive or two, you have to capitalize. And uh, the one thing that we've been probably the most consistent at all year and have probably done the best uh, is red zone scoring. And uh, we just did not take advantage of the plus territory opportunities. Again, seven, seven drives, we had one punt, first half, sky punt, seven opportunities, six, six scoring opportunities, and we come away with one field goal. Uh, so really disappointed uh, with the missed opportunities there. Uh, we had 101 plays and 480-something yards, and you don't get any points for yards. You know, that's why all the stats, uh, you know, the name of the game is points. And you, know, you can just like I tell the receiver, you don't get any points for getting open. Uh, and so you, you have to you have to uh, finish and execute. And uh, we did not do that. I thought, I will say this, I thought our guys competed their butts off. I have a great respect for how they competed. Uh, they never backed down either side. Competed. I thought both teams competed hard. Our guys fought. It was very frustrating because with some missed opportunities, but they continued to compete all the way. And I thought defensively they gave us a chance, um, really most of the night. And then when we got a one-score game right there in the fourth, uh, they popped a couple runs there, and uh, that 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 was uh, you know probably the worst defensive possession that we had. Uh, but you know uh, they're a good football team, and uh, a lot of missed opportunities, and then you know obviously missed kicks too. So uh, took some sacks, made some mistakes. Um, my man, my man Cade, who's not in here yet, um, you know, you, you can easily see how talented he is and, and what a great player he's going to be. He made a lot of great, great plays, but, but he also had some, some uh, you know, some just mistakes. Um, simple as that, you know, just took some sacks on some hots, took a sack on a sprint out. Obviously, the situation right there at the end can happen. Uh, these are all things he'll learn from, but what a great opportunity. What a great moment for him to be able to go and play and uh, compete. And again, uh, did a lot of good things, made some big time throws. Uh, so didn't go our way tonight, but definitely, um, you know, and it's, it's always sad when it comes to an end. It really is. It's always a sad situation because you're going to, you know, it's kind of the last time you're going to be with a lot of these guys. Um, but uh, especially when it doesn't go your way. But even when you win, it's sad, you know, because you've got some relationships that, you know, aren't going to be in the room next year. And, uh, but I'm thankful for our seniors. I love those guys. Uh, I'm proud of, you know, how they competed. And uh, we're, I'm better. I'm better. And Clemson is better because of the young, those young men who spent the last four or five, in some cases, six years um, as a part of our program. So uh, very thankful for that. And again, uh, didn't end the way we wanted to tonight, but, but an excellent year. 11-3 uh, in ACC champs, and um, especially coming off a, a very challenging year last year, a lot of transition and a lot of change. Uh, so we're not anywhere near where we need to be or going to be, but we got better, and that's uh, that's 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 something that we can uh, we can take away from it. So uh, again, congratulations to Tennessee and, uh, and and Josh, man. I thought again they, they did some good things, but a great year for them, and. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll take your questions with that. Okay, so that you know how we're going to do this, uh, if you have a question, first of all, raise your hand. <clears throat> Excuse me, a microphone will be brought to you. And then when you get the microphone, please state your name and your affiliation, and obviously who you would like to answer your question. So we're now open for questions. Coach Trevor Groves, CUDagers.com. Uh, the decision on that opening drive to, to go for the fake field goal, um, to take the, or the, the, the 44 yard field goal, um, was that something you, you saw on film or was it more of a, a feeling that the respect for 
Tennessee's offense and the fact that you'd need to score a touchdown? All of the above. We knew field goals were going to win the game, and we came into the game. We felt like that we had it there, and we uh, would go and look at it as far as how we executed it. But uh, just you know, come out and be aggressive. And again, knew, knew especially early that a field goal is not going to be the difference in the game. And, um, you know, uh, and then obviously we ended up missing three and, and made one. Um, so just a plan coming in. <clears throat> Devil Vince Ferrara, 99.1, the sports animal in Knoxville. Tennessee got a lot of pressure on, on you guys, on Cade. What would you see in terms of the pressure they were able to, to get? Was that anticipated in what they were doing uh, to uh, create pressure in this game? Well, uh, a couple things. Um, he, he took a couple sacks on, on a couple hots, you know, um, where we don't have somebody for that guy. Uh, so, you know, those are things we'll learn from. And then there's a couple times where uh, I know we got beat one time, just got beat out, outside of right tackle, got ran by him. And then there's a couple times where, you know, we've got to scramble a little bit better um, and, um, you know, we can help our tackles a little bit. So be, there's a lot of things, but hey, you know, they, they got some pressure for sure. Um, and, um, you know, you got to give them credit for that. Uh, Scott Eisberg, WCIV in Charleston. Cade, just uh, how overall do you kind of rate your performance and what kind of motivation does it give you for this offseason? Yeah, um, just super, super proud of these, these guys right here. Um, I think we really, I mean, we gave it all we had um, until the very last play. Um, there's, there's a lot of plays that I want back, um, but just super proud, super proud of how everybody competed. I'm uh, just thankful for these seniors, man. There's just there's so many guys that that y'all just don't get to see um, every single day that just have such an impact on me, um, you know, from everybody, Coach Sweeney, Hunter Johnson, Chip, KJ. I mean, there's just there's so many times that um, that I need I need help and they're they're there for me, and just just so thankful for these guys. Um, wish we could have sent out these seniors with a win. Um, I think we gave it all we had till the very last play. Nigel Tobias, New Era Prep, Palm Beach County, Florida. So this, I have this question for Will Shipley. Will, you really battled it out throughout the whole game. There was one play that really, really stood out. You had that acrobatic play in the first half. Let's talk about your athleticism and let's talk about how you just always will yourself every single play, no matter what. Yeah, um, you know, I'll just start off by saying I do it for the for the guys around me, um, and and uh, I wouldn't want to play for for any other university. Uh, I, I love my brothers, and, and you know that's true. Who I do it for? Um, so I got there, made a couple plays, but I missed a couple as well uh, that that I wish I could have back. Um, you know, fourth and one um, earlier in the game, missed a signal. Uh, you know, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have those mistakes, especially mental errors, um, but. You know, at the end of the day, uh, like like Kay said, we, we competed. Um, there's there's absolutely no doubt about that. Um, but there's a lot of improvement to do on, on my end um, and, and just all around. Uh, but I, I love these guys, and I, I truly do anything for them. Todd Summers, WSPA TV. Cade, wow, a lot of people are going to talk about the missed field goals. Do you feel like not being able to score touchdowns when you were on the other side of the field, you were making progress and, and moving the ball up and down the field. Do you think that was an issue that, that kind of eventually kind of started to wear wear on you guys a little bit? Yeah, I mean, the name of the game is points, and that's you get points by scoring touchdowns. So we needed to score touchdowns, and we weren't doing that. So part of that was on me. I took a, I took a sack on third down, um, and just there was just a lot of missed opportunities, you know. Uh, Tennessee did a great job um, on disguising and, and disguising their blitzes and their coverages, um, and you know we, we, there was a lot of opportunities to be had, especially in the red zone. Um, but just we needed to finish. That's that's what we needed to do. I mean, they, we were driving on them every single drive, like we just were, and for some reason we got inside the red zone. We just we just couldn't finish it. Um, so. Uh, KJ, uh, Trevor Gross, Utahers.com. 
I know this one hurts, um, but I, I imagine at some point you'll look back on this season. The fact that you won the ACC championship will mean a great deal to you, and you'll look finally on that. Will this, the way this game went, factor at all in your decision on whether you come back? Um, not at all. Um, <clears throat> I, that, that decision time will be made at a later date. It's, right now, it's just about pre appreciating, like you said, what we've done uh, this year. Coach Winnie said in the locker room, uh, 11 great days and three bad ones, and we'd be fools to, <clears throat> to really just focus on, on the bad three. As competitors, that's, that's what we're going to do um, because we just want to wanna win them all. Um, but I'm really proud of this of this group, this group of uh, players, uh, this coaching staff. Really, everybody was it was counted out at the end of the at the beginning of the year. Uh, I'll look back at you know some photos that I had taken. We were like one commentator picked us to, to win the ACC, and you know, probably nobody had us finishing in the top ten if that's where we land. So um, really, just happy, you know, happy the way these guys fought to the end, um, and regardless of the outcome. I wouldn't wouldn't trade one player and one coach, uh, you know, for for what I was able to be a part of this year. Really was special, and um, I got to appreciate every moment. Question for KJ and then Kate. KJ, what did you think of Tennessee's offense? Uh, the the line, Milton. What were your impressions of them going up against them? Uh, yeah, uh, great, great, great group. Um, <clears throat> first, shout out to to our coaching staff. I, I definitely. Felt like we were we were prepared um, for the, at least the tempo aspect of it. Uh, obviously, a great focus that um, you know Tennessee does a great job of stressing their their opponents. <clears throat> I felt very comfortable in that aspect. Um, but with that being said, now that obviously you know <clears throat> a, a physical a, a big uh, up front. I think we did a good job um, from a front seven standpoint of really holding the line. Uh, not too many um, big runs given up, and, and when there were, it wasn't you know matter of physicality more just us being outside of our gaps and um, you know they're good enough to capitalize on our mistakes um, but also uh, obviously a, a, Joe's a, a great player um, that's kind of what I said before the game uh, he hasn't you know a lot of people have gotten to see that he hasn't got to play a lot this year but um, you know I, I was very aware and capable of what he could do so uh, like I said it was, it was a good night uh, I think on the defensive side obviously it could have been much better um, but they, they did a great job of capitalizing on some of the mistakes that we had, and um, we just have to learn from it. And kid, you ran the ball an awful lot tonight. Was that game plan? Was that opportunity that presented itself within your reads? Why was that? Yeah, I think it just kind of um, just happened during the game. I think there's just you know plays to be had, and um, I don't think that was really the game plan coming into it. But you know, end up running some more inside zone, some more zone read, and um, just kind of happened. So. Yeah, Dabo, Phil Corn, Blue Sports Talk Media Network. You know, people will say the Clemson program is slipping compared to where it was just a few years ago. What would you say to people who would look at your program after tonight and say that it has uh, fallen from the elite? <laughs> well, I mean, I can't really, I don't really know what to say to them. I mean, we're 11-3. Um, sure, I wish we were undefeated. Um, but we've won the league seven out of the last eight years. I think that's only happened one other time. That was in the 70s by Alabama. So, um, you know, we've been pretty consistent, and um, we're going to continue. We're going to continue to we'll continue to be consistent and keep keep trying to do everything we can to be undefeated around here. I think um, you know we won 11 plus games. We won what, in 1981, won 12, and um, I think we went 31 years before we won 11 games again at Clemson. And um, we did that in 2012, and I think we've done it eight times in the last 11 years. So I think we've been incredibly consistent, disappointing tonight for sure. Uh, but hey, we, we've got high, nobody out there has higher expectations than what we have. Uh, I promise you that. So uh, again, We'll, we'll keep battling. We'll keep working. And there's a lot of great days ahead. A lot of great days ahead. So um, people say what they want to say. Always have. Always will. Uh, we're just going to keep doing what we do. And, uh, you know, I've heard all those things before. Um, so we're off to a good start this decade. And uh, if you look at the totality of our program, um, you know, we, we've done a lot of great things. So 
you know, and then on top of that, we had 90 guys make a 3.0 this semester. 90, that's a school record. We had 17 guys make a 4.0 or better. Uh, so for some people, it's it's all about the school board. Uh, for our program, it's, it's 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 about you know really developing them in all areas, and uh, we've been able to do that uh, consistently. Nobody's been more consistent than us. Uh, not perfect, you know. We, we we work hard and try to win every game. These guys bust their butt, man. Y'all saw y'all saw what this kid's got the ability to do. I mean, uh, yeah, he's got some plays. Uh, we all got plays we like to have back, but. You got a chance to see how special he can be, and then you see the heart of these guys. You know, you got a freshman, a sophomore, and a senior sitting up here, and they are three of the greatest ambassadors that any university could ever have. So, uh, again, you know, you want to win every single game, and when you're a competitor, that's that's what you strive for. But at the end of the day, you know, seasons come and go. Every year is a new journey. We got better this year. We didn't get where we wanted to go, but we got better. And uh, especially coming off of a very challenging season last year. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, again, thankful for the opportunity that we had to get here and a lot of young guys to learn. Uh, I appreciate our fans that drove. We had a lot of fans come and support us. And I uh, really appreciate them. And also appreciate the Orange Bowl people and, and um, you know, making it a great week. And uh, we're all disappointed. So um, my focus is on, on – um, you know, the young men in that locker room and making sure that um, we learn from this and that we keep getting better, keep moving forward. We're going to have two more questions, the first here in the front, and then the second will be in the back. This question is for Coach Davo Swinney. Coach, how do you encourage the players, not only in a winning situation, but also in a losing situation? How do you just keep them all together, the whole team? Well, you just... You're honest, uh, you know, we all take ownership and, um, you know, we stay together. I mean, you win and you lose together. Um, if you, when you step in a competitive arena, especially one like we, we, we compete in, uh, you're going you're gonna to win and you're going to lose. It's going to be part of it. Uh, so you have to just keep, you got to manage the success and you got to manage the failure, as we always say. So obviously we failed tonight. Uh, we got to manage that. We got to own that. Uh, but but you also have to create the right perspective, you know. Because at the end of the day, we're teachers, and we 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 have a, always have an opportunity to teach. Um, so, you know, we, we, like always, you watch the tape, um, you apply the lessons, and now that the season is over, you're gonna study everything about our season, and uh, we start back over in January. January the 13th, we'll have our first team meeting. We'll reset. And the 2023 journey will be upon us. And, uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get back in the fight and go back to work. And, you know, we hit three out of our five goals this year. Uh, if we hit five out of five, you win the national championship. So, um, you know, we'll get back to work and see if we can, um, you know, have a better year next year. See if we can keep getting better. And so you just try to keep them together, be honest, and keep a good perspective. Our final question. Uh, Mark Whiteman, WIFF, for KJ and Will, as two of the leaders on this team all year long, how will you sum up this season? What are the things you will remember? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think the, uh, the toughest part about it is you just remember the relationships and, and um, kind of what you got from those. Uh, you know, I think about KJ and, and what he's done for me. Um, you know, he took me over under his wing right when I got here, and, and I've learned more from him uh, than I could ever ask. So uh, I think I think that's the biggest thing for me is just the relationships. Um, you know, I'm gonna miss all the seniors. Um, you know, we're coming back hungry, and uh, there's there's no doubt about that. Um, and then you know, looking overall on the year, um, it's, it's not where we wanted to get, uh, not where we want to be, not how we want to finish. But uh, you know, there's no doubt that we competed. And, um, you know, I think we've got a bunch of dudes on this team who are hungry, hungry to come back next year and, and uh, improve something. So uh, we've got, got to keep our heads down, got to work in the off season, um, you know, get right back to it. But, but there's no doubt that, that we've got what we need in that locker room to, uh, to get where we want to go. As for myself, um, when it comes to this year, like Coach Lee said, just 
I look back and know we got better. I you know we grew in the right direction. Um, been a been a part of you know a lot of great teams here, and, and this will go down with one of them, um, just inside out. And um, all the like Mike Ship said, all the relationships and the great ones we had, the, the love that has been you know shared on this team was was probably you know the best and the most genuine out of all my time here. Um, and I remember you know the. All the, the free popcorn that I could have. Um, and we had movie nights before the game. I love popcorn. Um, I really appreciate Coach Sweeney for allowing that for the team. It's really been a blessing, you know, for my life. So, yeah, it's just been a lot of great times, and um, I just a lot of time to really look back and and really uh, enjoy and, and think about those times. Well, that concludes this portion of our presentation.